Hey, Guru Nation, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. Really means a lot to me. Today, I got a question from YouTube. Somebody on YouTube said, hey, I'm an industrial organizational psychology major with a minor in business. I'm graduating in May. My passion is human behavior and why people do what they do. Long term, I'm wanting to make a difference in the day-to-day -day behavior of people through the most effective method. Was put onto clinical research by my research stats professor who said it is, it is an industry that someone with a bachelor's and research skills could definitely get into. It's been so interesting learning more and looking for jobs. Research Triangle Park here in Raleigh, North Carolina, seeing a lot of pre-med and biomed folks get into it. And I'm curious how much science content I need to know. No science background is needed. The, the, when we have plenty of doctors and clinicians who work on the studies that have science background and you're going to learn the science background whether you're going to be a CRA or a coordinator you don't even need to learn the science if you're like an in-house CRA or someone doing trial master file assisting like a clinical trial assistant or something like that eventually if you want to be a coordinator or a CTM or a CRA you need to learn the science but that's going to come as you do things you can also take courses on Coursera to brush up your skills on science, but really that's more of something that you're gonna learn as you go. That's something that you're gonna end up picking up those skills. So you have a psych background, you can easily do psychology trials, psychiatric clinical trials. You can be what's called a psychometric rater. So you can go find research clinics in your area and apply as a research assistant. Really just t take any job they take you at because with your background in psychology, you can actually probably qualify for some of these rating skills and or you can then be a coordinator. It all depends what you want to do with your career. If you want to go CRA, if you want to go clinical trial manager, there's career pathways for that, but not everyone's is the same. So science is not necessarily needed. Don't worry about it. And you already have plenty of science. I know people with bachelors in philosophy and economics that are CRAs. So that doesn't matter. What matters is getting in, getting the experience and going from there. Um, and you can brush up on, you, you can take courses and you can just learn by doing. I've never done an arthritis trial and now, and I've been doing research for 15 years, now I'm going to be a study coordinator for my new site. I'm learning all about osteoarthritis. I've never done any dermatology studies in my 15 years of research. Now I have three studies. I have rosacea, plaque psoriasis, atopic derm. Guess what? I'm learning all those things too. And that's very different than having science knowledge in psychiatry or oncology or gastroenterology. It's completely different. So even though I do have science background, it doesn't even help me if there's a new therapeutic indication. So don't worry about that. Just get started. The science will take care of itself. Talk to you soon, Guru Nation. Bye-bye.